Hello Internet. These are my gut reaction to all the Democrat candidates prior to the Iowa caucus result. So let's dive in. Amy Klobuchar. After all these, this is all I can point to is that she has a temper. Things like flying staplers, comb for a fork, nothing good about her, nothing good. Let's see, our next candidate is Andrew Yang, who has decided that the way he's going to become president is by giving freedom dividend. More like a bribe. And he's an entrepreneur. So I guess that is his way of showing his entrepreneurial ship skills in it's politics next is bernie sanders oh my god he is in the top two candidates he is a socialist and because of that he attracts a lot of commies a lot of revolutionary types the violent types the black blocks and all those kind of things that is his biggest drawback followed by his health any day anything can happen to him he's too old on top of that are the veritas leaks that have shown that he does have under his employment some revolutionary pro gulags and commit atrocities against the rich kind of people that he has actually not renounced so that's gonna haunt him in the general election next is devil patrick patrick who is he i don't know apparently he's on the list of running guys next elizabeth warren oh my god she is going to, she's such a weak candidate the whole ancestry thing and then her claim against Bernie Sanders about the sexist. It, these two <clears throat> basically are the main thing. On top of it, she's extremely thin-skinned. And she let Donald push her into doing the whole ancestry-proving thing. And then she's very timid as, you know, in, in facing any kind of conflict. She is super timid. She just... She gives the vibe of the deer in a headlight anytime. I mean, plenty of videos online that you can see. Next candidate is Joe Biden. And what a candidate Joe Biden is. I mean, he is, his main baggage is his health, both mentally and physically. He is becoming old really fast in this, in this race. And he is... He cannot hold himself. And still there's that issue of not having the Obama endorsement till now. I, those two are against him. He's probably like, he is the top candidate and he, for comedy, I think he's probably the best candidate to have. He is a treasure trove for comedians. He is a walking, talking calamity. I, I am betting for Joe Biden to win for so many reasons. John Delaney. Apparently he's still running. Good luck. Michael Bennett? Really? Who is Michael Bennett? I, I haven't even heard anything from him. I haven't heard anyone say anything about him in a concrete way that I can remember. Michael Bloomberg, welcome to the party. You made it with your, well, the less we say, the better it is. Mayor Pete. He is my, I mean, he is my second favorite candidate of them all. He is, unfortunately, he's too moderate for the Democratic base. So moderate, they think he's probably a closet right-winger maybe even a right 
too much of a right winger, far right. Tom Steyer. I, my gut reaction about him is that he's just atoning for his sins for all the environmental catastrophe he has done through his, well, earning his money. Oh my, my, I mean, for a principled progressive, I think Tulsi is just absolutely the best. But I think she played too safe in these race. She should have been more hard. She should have been more hard on everyone. Unfortunately, she was only hard on Kamala Harris and uh, Hillary Clinton, who isn't running this time around. She should have been harder on the other candidates. But she wasn't, which is unfortunate. She's a missed opportunity. Next video, I'm going to react to the Iowa caucus results.